Just have to make the right decision eventually. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of horror films from a very young age. I really don't even remember a time before I was watching horror films. It's so much a part of my love of cinema. What you think is going to be scary isn't necessarily gonna be scary. Like, I think I've definitely been surprised by the things that terrify an audience that I wasn't at all expecting. And also, it's all trial and error, you know, when it comes to trying to figure out what scares people. It's nowhere near as straightforward as, as you would think. The legend is, if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror, he appears in the reflection and kills you. A big thing that we did with this film was expand the lore of, of, of Candyman, expand the mythology. And that was really just to make it more specific and to reframe who we were talking about, which was Candyman as a person, as a concept, as a symbol, as a martyr and a monster. And so telling the story from a black point of view, I think, helps. Instead of it being an outsider looking in, trying to write a thesis about it, it's actually the people experiencing it. I think that's the best way for an audience to understand something as traumatic and with a history as long as what we're talking about in our films. Anthony, me, this, this is a real. A big part of preparation for me and getting everyone um, from my cast to my crew on the same page is making sure that like me, my DP, and my production designer are all in the room together and we're talking about if I want the colors to be like this, like how does that affect the camera department, how does it affect the production design department. Having that kind of collaboration is really important. And further to that, you know, like bringing your cast in to talk about character. You know, I don't talk about character just with cast. I also have to involve my production designer so she understands what their home would look like so that her set decorator and her art director can instill everything with character. I need you to step over here, please. Sorry, I... Ma'am, I need you to come step right over here, oh, please. Okay. Thank you. Is there a problem? Well, we're about to find out. Yeah, Littlewoods it was great because, you know, I wrote the script and a lot of that dramatic tension is in the script. Exploring the tension on the page first, because that's kind of the journey we went on with, with Littlewoods was, okay, this works on the page, how do we make it work when we shoot, and how do we just amplify it um, in post with cutting, with music, with, with whatever we have at our disposal. And, and that happened, I think, tenfold on, on Candyman, you know, it was really making sure in the script everything was there first and foremost, doing the best we could on the shoot day, and then just really amplifying everything uh, in post tension and, and having like thriller elements amplify drama is something that I, I also wanted to bring from from Little Woods to, to Candyman. This neighborhood is haunted. Jordan said something really funny. We made this big decision that was really great and it just really just brought everything together. <laughs> and he um, he goes, just have to make the right decision eventually. <laughs> And I was like, that's, yeah, that's very true. Like sometimes you have to wait until it's the perfect thing or the right thing. And sometimes it's not gonna be immediate, but as soon as it's there, even if it's hard, you have to go for it. And so that was, that was really uh, impactful to me.